Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name's Toby and this is part of a new series called Current Projects. And it's where I talk about the things that I'm working on at the moment. And today we're going to have a look at a map that's part of a large, probably the largest project I've worked on, which is called Where Humans Don't Belong. And it's a um, sci-fi board game where there's a series of tiles and I'm designing the maps for those tiles upon which the players will explore. And it's along with a, um, a, a cool guy called Mark Chaplin, a really nice guy to work with. And I'm putting these maps together. I just wanted to show you the map really and um, talk you through it. This is the space station Alter Rex, and you can see it's quite it's quite a big map, sort of A4 size, and very involved. So, with this map, I initially um, let's reduce that there. Initially, I create a series of layers. I draw the map by hand. And this is the map you can see here. And I then scan it, take out the background. So it's on a transparent base. And then I um, duplicate it, copy it onto each other. So it gets darker. And then I blend, then I mix the two layers. And what that does is it creates a, a darker solid color. Uh, maybe I'll show you that at some point. But um, we then um, add a, uh, a first layer, which is underneath this black layer. And that is the color, the background, the base color for the, the uh, space station. This is space stations. And you can see it's a kind of a, a, an earthy mid-tone and previously I did blues for spaceships that we were, I was doing. And now it's just um, a space station. So I, I thought, right. And these space stations are breaking up. They're kind of in a, a bad position. They're right next to suns and they're, they're too close to the sun. They're breaking up. And you've got these exposure points here where the sun is getting through. So add down that base layer. And then I add in some shadow. So uh, the shadow tends to trace around the um, in the in the in the corners where the shadows would naturally sit, and things start to pop a little bit. And you can see um, you get a bit of definition across the image here. And incidentally, I don't do all my um, coloring with digital. Often, actually, I use pencils. We can have a look at that another time. But I quite like to do a bit of digital colouring, especially if um, the backgrounds need to be generated in a particular way, and these do. I'm putting star fields behind these. And with these particular space station series, we're going to be having um, soda flares coming in at these points here where the sun is penetrating the room. And the players, when they encounter that space, they will encounter, they will have a penalty or it'll be a hazard for them to experience that particular moment. Then I'm going to bring in, in fact, some of the highlights of a bit across to this, to this layer. I'm going to add in a lighter um, colour here that you can see is largely kind of just bringing the ground, making the ground more defined. And you can, it stands out from the walls and the objects around. And it's kind of like a, a, a lit space but it, this is also partly sort of radiation and the solar radiation that's coming through the building so it has a kind of uh, that kind of um, lit effect the, the floors themselves are going to be lighter in the middle so there's that whole aspect there as well so that's going to be really um, something that, that highlights it and then the next layer we have is some some more shade I'm adding in here. You can see the lines that I've drawn on the floor. I've added a kind of a, a, a colour over and those are um, 
with the um, uh, with the opacity has changed on these. So I bring the opacity down or up on the left hand side there. And um, it's a kind of a softer feel. I quite like a soft feel to the space. I think it's, it's not nicer, it's nicer on the eye, it's more blended and you start to get more of a sense, the drama of the piece suddenly becomes um, more involved. And um, then the next stage is adding some orange highlights to the edges of the objects to make them pop a bit and um, make them draw your eye to it. And then we get this lovely big space station. Now this project is going on for at least another month. And um, this at the moment is a series of space stations. They're all gonna have these colored themes. Hopefully Mark will give it the go ahead and hopefully he likes it. Now I can adjust the colors if need be. I'll probably do that on the computer rather than on the iPad, which is what I'm on at the moment. And um, it tends to be that um, we'll go backwards and forwards a little bit and see what happens and see whether he is particularly keen on different elements of it. I might make some adjustments. That's what it's like working with your um, clients. O often, actually, the work that I do for my clients is that they, they go for it. Usually they, they like it. Um, I don't have too many problems on that front. But then um, I also find that I'm working extra hard to, to please the client. I, I want to put out a product which I'm really pleased with, which is kind of like one of my ethoses. So I'm very keen to um, produce a good portfolio of work. So this is a big project. And it's something I'm working on at the moment. Um, so hopefully those of you watching the YouTube video or you're on, um, uh, what's this, Behance, which is a part of the streaming app, part of the streaming facility on Photoshop, because this is done in Photoshop, um, or my patrons on my page, you'll, you'll kind of get more of an idea about what I'm doing. And this is, I want to be more transparent and explain to you, you know, what is involved and, and how over the next... Um, next few months you know where my projects are why people approach me and, and what they're interested in so that that's kind of where that's what these videos these current project videos are about hopefully to give you more of an insight into what's going on in my kind of illustrator world so guys i hope you found this interesting um there'll be more of this sort of thing in in the ipad having a look at projects and analyzing artwork and stuff like that and um, yeah, if you've got any questions, add them down below. Um, I'm reachable at darkroundmaps uh, at gmail.com or you can follow me on social media where I'm pretty active and um, especially on Twitter um, because it's such an awesome community. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.